Hello, I am the Art Mage of Cheese and this is Board Deck and Dice. Today I'm giving you my quick opinions on Rise of Tribes, which I was lucky enough to play a Kickstarter, uh, Kickstarter is on Kickstarter right now, a prototype version of. Um, and I'll be honest, I played this game first time two players, hopefully some of the footage will be coming up, and I wasn't that, it was nice, it was nice at two players, but I didn't really, I wasn't really aware of everything you can do and how you could interrupt acts with people. In Rise of Tribes you're laying out a hex based map depending on um, the amount of players and it has three different resources on it, wood, food or fish and rock. And you're using those resources to uh, achieve your own missions, everyone has the same missions but they're in their own different decks so they come out in different order and these missions are either achievements which you achieve so you uh, own the most of that type of hex or um, uh, I think they're called upgrades or, or advancements and they're blue and when you get enough resources you pay for them and they affect the four actions that you can take permanently. The four actions are grow which lets you put more people onto a hex that you already have control of, uh, move which lets you move your people one hex away unless you upgrade that, gather which lets you take a certain amount of resources from, a, from the hexes you're on, from a certain amount of hexes you're on, and lead which lets you take more of your objective cards to give you more um, scope for uh, achieving missions and scoring points. You can also at the end of your turn build a village. Village give you points at the start of every turn you have, so if you have three villages at the start of your turn you're going to score 50, uh, three points and it's a first to 15 point race. So having three villages is very good and people will try and stop you doing that. The interesting thing with all this is how you choose those actions. You have two dice and above each action on the action board are, two, are three more dice. You roll your two dice and you will slide your dice on pushing a dice off the edge. Now if you show two suns you're going to get a slightly better version of the action listed. If you show two moons you're going to get a slightly worse um, action than listed when you've slid it on and moved the one down. And if you don't, if you just have one of each or two blanks, then you just get a standard action. So it's really interesting about how you want to leave those for other people and how what you can get away with taking the least action of. Also, when you roll doubles, global events come out that affect play in different ways. So yeah, like I said, when I played this first at two player, I thought it was nice, but I didn't necessarily need into my collection. The more I've played it, the more I've appreciated the strategies that are involved, the ways you can stop other players scoring. And actually, you need to do that fairly soon because if you let a player get hold with villages, they're gonna be um, going up in score every go and then they get a couple of those achievement cards out and they start achieving those. Those can be worth three or two points. Um, and that's a lot when you're only going to 15. But this means that the game plays quick. It means there's actually some variability because you're not going to see all your objective cards in one game. Um, and also you can add variable player powers into it as well if you choose to. So this game has just gone up and up in my opinion every time I've played it. It's on Kickstarter right now. I think you've only got a week left if I edit this video in time. Edit as if I do any editing. <laughs> But I really recommend you check it out. Um, it's kind of family weight, so um, but there are decisions there. You can be as mean as you like and really go for people or, or stay on your side of the board and try and do stuff like that. But you are going to have to share spaces at some point. But you don't have to fight until a certain threshold is, is crossed. But if they do start getting villages, you are going to want to stop that. So there is uh, definitely some direct player interaction. But again, you can play it with uh, families and um, my seven-year-old uh, struggled with it a little bit just because of the, probably the dice and understanding all the different depths of actions. But I think give him another year and he'd absolutely love it. Uh, Rise of Tribes, links below. You've been watching Board Deck and Dice. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.